Hello guys, today I am going to explain the bell Kolman cycle or the reverse Brayton cycle or the Joule cycle. In this video, I will explain about the different components of a bell Kolman cycle, the processes involved in the bell Kolman cycle, and to draw the PV as well as the TS diagram of a bell Kolman cycle, and, and I will discuss the derivation of the COP of the bell Kolman cycle. First of all, there are four major components that's, that are involved in a bell Kolman cycle. First one is a refrigerator, then compressor, a cooler and expander. As the name indicates, the function of a compressor is to compress the refrigerant to a higher pressure. The function of a cooler is to cool the refrigerant to a lower temperature. The function of an expander is to expand the uh, refrigerant to a lower pressure. And the refrigerator, it is a chamber where we need less, tempera less temperature. That is, this is a chamber to be which cooled so the process involved in the bell Kolman cycle can be um, explained and explained uh, with the help of this diagram and i will explain the pv and ts diagram with the with this explanation so first of all consider the refrigerant for this is the state of the refrigerant for is one of the state of this refrigerant in the cycle so when the refrigerant moves from the, moves through the refrigerator it will absorb heat from the refrigerator the refrigerant will absorb heat from the refrigerator and it will evaporate and the the, the refrigerant which is at the evaporated state will pass through the compressor as i said earlier the function of a compressor is to compress the refrigerant to a higher pressure so one to two the compression takes place we need to understand that the compression takes place in isentropic fashion that is no heat is added no heat heat is absorbed from this compressor so the isentropic compression takes place in the compressor so we can discuss the T, ts and pv diagram of this process that is one two that state of uh, the refrigerant at one b like this and from 1 to 2 isentropic compression takes place we know that in a pv diagram isentropic compression is denoted by this fashion in a ts diagram the isentropic compression is denoted by this fashion that is the uh, isentropic means entropy doesn't change that is entropy of 1 and 2 are equal so that entropy so this uh, this will be parallel to the y axis in a ts diagram so 1 to 2 so this compressed refrigerant will pass through the cooler the function of a cooler is to cool the refrigerant as we can see the water is um, provided into the cooler and is taken out of the cooler so the water will absorb the heat from the refrigerant and the refrigerant become uh, refrigerant will cool to a lower temperature so uh, the refrigerant but we need to understand that this whole process is happening in a constant pressure in a constant pressure so 2 to 3 cooling will take place in a isobaric process which is which is an isobaric process so from so we can denote it in pv as well as ts diagram so in pv diagram state at 2 is marked here from 2 to 3 it is an isobaric process so cooling happens cooling means volume reduces so that in iso isobaric process the pressure is remain constant 2 to 3 volume is reduced so in a ts diagram here the cooling takes place cooling means temperature is reduced so from 2 to 3 temperature is reduced and um, and this follow in a isobaric this follow a isobaric process that is in a ts diagram uh, constant pressure lines are denoted in this fashion there are a lot of infinite number of constant pressure lines in a ts diagram one uh, two of the pressure lines are denoted here 4 to 1 and 3 to 3 to so from 2 the process is isobar isobaric and cooling takes place so it will follow a iso constant pressure line and it will cool to a temperature of t3 or it will reach the state of 3 so cooling happens and after cooling it will be um, provided it will be delivered into an expander so the function of expander is to expand the refrigerant in the system so 3 to 4 expansion expansion means the pressure is reduced from at, at 3 
the cooling happens and the uh, the refrigerant will be in a liquid fashion in a liquid state sorry in a liquid state so this liquid will be get expanded so expanded means the pressure is reduced from 3 to 4 the pressure is reduced in a isentropic fashion this is more important in a compressor and expander the process are in process are in isentropic fashion from 3 to 4 the isentropic pro process which is a expansion process 3 to 4 p in a pv diagram we denoted the isentropic process which is a expansion process that is pressure is reduced from 3 to 4 that is p3 is greater than that of p4 pressure is reduced in a ts diagram it is isentropic process that's entropy doesn't change and uh, in the expansion process the temperature is reduced so that it is represented by this line 3 4 the refrigerant which is passed through the expander is expanded to a lower temperature lower pressure and then it is uh, passed to the refrigerator in a refrigerator the process will be denoted by this that is it is also isobaric like cooler in a refrigerator heat addition is also isobaric process so from 4 to 1 it is isobaric process heat is added it is it, it become vapor so that volume will be increased so 4 to 1 volume is increased and in a ts diagram it can be represented as isobaric process it follow a iso is constant pressure line and it will reach to 1 from 4 in a through a constant pressure line so this is the basic process involved in a bell cycle and uh, and we can find out the cop of the cycle that is heat added what is heat added heat is added in the refrigerator it is added to the refrigerant in the refrigerator so it is a constant pressure process so heat added in a constant heat constant pressure process is denoted by cp into t1 minus t4 that is 4 to 1 it involves heat addition so 4 to 1 it is heat addition so cp into t1 t1 minus t4 it is the heat added what is heat rejected heat is rejected in the cooler so heat 2 to 3 it involves heat rejection so heat rejected is denoted by it's a con isobaric process so heat rejected is cp into t2 minus t3 okay we know that cop is defined as heat added to the work done so what's the work done work done is given by heat added minus heat rejected these are all ba the basic concepts so heat so we can write it as qa by qb minus qa and substituting qa and qb from this equation to this equation and equation we will get cp into t1 minus t4 divided by cp into t2 minus t3 minus cp into t1 minus t4 so so cp will get cancelled and uh, so cp will get cancelled from numerator as well as denominator and uh, taking t4 outside t4 out, we are taking t4 outside in the numerator so t1 by t4 minus 1 taking t3 outside from the this denominator so t3 into t2 minus t3 minus 1 minus taking t4 from this uh, term t4 into t1 by t4 minus 1 so we we get an interesting relationship between t1 by t4 and t2 by t3 if we consider the processes so consider process 1 to 2 this is the isentropic process so we have pressure ratio the relationship between the temperature ratio and pressure ratio as t2 by t1 t2 by t1 is equal to p2 by p1 whole raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma okay we also have another another isentropic process from 3 to 4 so applying similar equation t3 by t4 is equal to p3 by p4 whole raised to gamma minus 1 by gamma so the interesting fact is that p4 and p1 are equal that is p4 and p1 are equal t2 and t sorry p2 and p3 are equal p2 and p3 are equal so this term and this term are equal that means t1 t2 by t1 is equal to t3 by t4 rearranging it that is taking t1 here and t3 here we will get t2 by t3 is equal to t1 by t4 so t2 by t3 that is t2 by t3 is equal to t1 by t4 t1 by t4 that is t1 by t4 t2 by t3 and this is also t1 by t4 these all are equal so this will get cancelled 
so we will get t4 by t3 minus t4 t4 by t3 minus t4 and we are again dividing the denominator numerator with t4 because we need a ratio that is our final objective so dividing the numerator with t4 we will get 1 dividing denominator with t4 t3 by t4 minus 1 this t3 by t4 is already found out that is p3 by p4 always the gamma minus 1 by gamma substituting this we will get this in this fashion so observing p3 and p4 that is p3 and p4 or it is equal to p2 by p1 this p3 by p4 is defined as the compression ratio it is de defined as the compression ratio or expansion ratio so it is denoted by rp rp so so um, reducing it in, into the form of rp we will get 1 by rp whole rest of gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 this is the final equation of the cop of a ben coleman cycle so these are the basic concepts behind the bell coleman cycle so if you found it helpful please like this video and subscribe my channel thank you